So let's get straight into it. We have been working on the garden. We are very keen to make the most of this summer this year. We're hoping to have a summer, not like last year. So we've been jet washing and we've been trying to get the garden sorted because the first signs of spring are starting to show. We're starting to get some you know, slightly better weather. So that's kind of infused us amongst all the probably more important things we should be doing to get the garden done. So I started by jet washing the patio area and it was quite bad, it was quite slippery actually, it was quite dangerous under the darkness of the grime that had built up over time, um, which always happens in England. Um, did, you know, we kind of got this quite nice multi-toned uh, paving area. So we're looking forward to using that in the summer. And um, we moved on to the garden and yeah, so th I mean that took a lot of strimming, raking, mowing, as you, as you can see here. We decided to keep going on the left hand side with the mower and um, once we'd trimmed it down um, it was quite quite bad so we just kept going over and reducing the height of the, the mower each time and we couldn't do that on the other side because the moss is so thick um, so Matthew went over it all with a rake and just raked up as much as he could and then I went over on the highest setting um, now that it's dried out a bit after you know a few days later it dried out so I was able to rake a bit more up and we'll hopefully get the mower down again. Just generally tidying up, cleaning out these flower beds of all the little weeds that have appeared. And yeah, just get a good tidy up really, that's all we were doing. The lovely jet wash section of the patio. And we're gonna remove that plant in the middle and put in a round slab. Hopefully we can find one that fits. Finish jet washing along here and make it all a bit tidier, get rid of all the weeds. Gonna get rid of all these stones as well and replace them with something a bit cleaner looking, a bit modern. Maybe some white stones would be nice. And um, this brick, I quite like it, but they're starting to break a bit. The fronts are coming off, so yeah, I'm not sure about that. And yeah, just give a general tidy up and find a new home for those bloody bins. So we have these lovely planters and they're kind of built up and they're a great shape. Not quite sure what to do with them. Um, visually, but we'll plant them up with some nice plants. The only thing is, like these parts here, they're all loose, so we need to get those repaired, particularly to make them safe for, you know, Mr. Dexter. Hello, Dexter. And we've got the other one this side, so we'll just fill them with some nice plants. There's one plant in it at the moment, not sure what it is, we'll soon find out. We'll take the stones away from here because they go all along the side of the planted walls and all up the side of this path that cuts through the front, the middle of the garden. And then I'm thinking we'll turn this back section here, which is already partially a flower bed, and it has some lovely mint, that big bush there is a big mint bush. But we'll plant all of this sort of loads of herby, very scented flowers and plants. And then we'll move these slabs that are randomly sort of plonked in the corner. So we're gonna move those right to the other side of the garden to where the two by two ones are here. But if I put it to the left, what we'll do is we'll create a much larger space to sit and have a nice glass of fizz at the end of a hot summer's day. Let's talk about this grass. It is absolutely riddled with moss. It's not actually grass at all. It's, well, the grass is trying to come through. We just keep raking so much of it out. And as you can see, it's quite thick and dense, but the more we rake, the more comes out. But we're hoping to kind of get rid of it that way without having to use any kind of chemicals because I'm not into chemicals at all, but we'll see. This wall is rather depressing. It's got lots of black marks all over it. I'm assuming just weather, you know, weather over the years, but we need to do something with that. I'm thinking wood cladding. Quite like the red brick at the back. I think we'll keep that. We'll remove that wooden trellis thing. That can go, as can the orange paint on that fence. I'd really like to make this space full of different things for the senses. I want it to smell great, I want it to be lots of colour, and I would really like to introduce a water feature of some kind. It might not be a feature, it might be like a small stream or whatever it may be. Any suggestions? Let me know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to catch our next video, and we'll catch you on the next one.